Hello, this video is on functions. Specifically, it's the first of two videos on quadratic models. As shown here in the syllabus. A mathematical model is a simplified description of a real-world situation using mathematical concepts. The process of developing a model is called modelling. For example, the height above ground of a baseball that has been hit can be modelled by a quadratic function. A quadratic model has the general form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are constants, called the coefficients. Quadratic models are frequently used to describe situations where one quantity, the dependent variable, has a maximum or a minimum value relative to the other quantity, the independent variable. The graph of a quadratic model is called a parabola. The key features of a parabola are its y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis, its x-intercepts, where the graph crosses the x-axis, its vertex, which will either be a minimum or a maximum, and its axis of symmetry, and the graph is symmetrical on either side of this line. The x-intercepts are also called the roots, or the zeros. In this example, the height h above ground of a thrown javelin after it has travelled a horizontal distance of d metres is modelled by the quadratic function given. The model has a y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point 0, 1.7. This is interpreted in the context of the model by stating that the javelin is released from a height of 1.7 metres. The model has x-intercepts, which are found by solving the equation h of d is equal to zero. So by equating this function equal to zero. As can be seen, one of the roots is negative. And as we cannot have negative time, this cannot be an x-intercept. So the x-intercept is 68.3, 0. And this is interpreted as the horizontal distance travelled by the javelin. The model has a vertex, whose coordinates will be found using the graphing technology of your calculator. The vertex for this model is a maximum point, with coordinates 33.3, 18.4. We can interpret y-coordinate as the greatest height reached by the javelin, and that's 18.4 metres. The x-coordinate of the vertex also identifies the axis of symmetry, which is d equals 33.3 which can be interpreted by stating that the javelin is at its highest point after having travelled a horizontal distance of 33.3 metres. In part A of this question, we are asked to find h of 0 and to interpret its meaning in context. h0 is the value of h at time 0. So, replacing t with 0 gives h of 0 is equal to 1. Alternatively, performing this calculation on the calculator, from the main menu, select Graph, and type the equation of the model into y1. So that's negative 5 multiplied by, and pressing the x variable button for t, and then the squared button, and then plus 30, pressing the x variable button again, and then plus 1. Pressing execute to enter the equation, and pressing F6 to draw the graph of the model. 
As the graph is only partly visible, press F3, view window, to adjust the window. And we can set Y min to zero, Y max to 50, and Y scale to 10. Press in execute, and then F6 to draw the graph again. As H0 is the y-intercept of the graph, press F5 for G-solve, and then F4 for a y-intercept. We see that H of 0 is equal to 1, as before. At this point, it's probably a good idea to make a simple, neat sketch of the graph as part of your method. Interpreting the meaning in context, h of 0 represents the height above ground of the ball when, it's hit, when it is hit. So the ball is hit at 1 metre above the ground. In part b, we're asked to find how long it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height. So we need to find the vertex, or the maximum point. Pressing F5 for G-solve and F2 for a maximum point. The coordinates of the maximum point are 3,46. Add in these details to your sketch as part of your method. So the x-coordinate represents the time. So it will take 3 seconds for the ball to reach its maximum height. In part C, to find the maximum height reached by the ball, the y-coordinate represents the height of the ball. So the maximum height reached by the ball is 46 metres. In part D, to find how long it takes for the ball to hit the ground, we need to find the x-intercept. Pressing F5 for G-solve and F1 for the root. As this value of time is negative, this route is not possible. Press in the right cursor, moves us to the second route. And again, it's good to add details to your sketch as part of your method. So the x-intercept has coordinates 6.03,0. Again, the x-coordinate represents the time, so it takes the ball 6.03 seconds to hit the ground. In part E, we're asked to describe a reasonable domain and range for this model. So for the domain, which is the time variable, as the time cannot be negative, so t will have to be bigger than or equal to zero. And as the ball hits the ground after 6.03 seconds, so t will have to be less than or equal to 6.03. So a reasonable, reasonable domain is t is bigger than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 6.03. For the range, the variable is height, which is the height of the ball above ground, so h has to be greater than or equal to zero. And since the maximum height of the ball is 46 metres, then h has to be less than or equal to 46. So a reasonable range is h of t is greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to 46.